Welcome everybody to the October Spotlight interview for Phi Theta Kappa. If you were with us last month, you would know that we interviewed Agustin Alvarez for the first ever Spotlight interview. And this month we are joined by a very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Catherine Weaver. I joined in the spring and I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. All right, so we're just going to bring you along for the ride. Same format, same questions as last month. Uh, except a much nicer background this month. So without further ado, let's begin. So Catherine, I'm curious, and for me and for our audience, what are some things that you are currently working on here at Wake Tech and at PTK or anything else that you would like to add? Sure, yeah. Well, I'm working on my associate in science degree, kind of the pre-nursing track as well. So heavy on the science courses yeah. and I guess you'd say I'm a sophomore. This is my second year and I will be graduating in the spring. Great. How did you find out about Phi Theta Kappa? Um, mostly through the email. I think I saw bits and pieces of it online, but I wasn't really sure how to join until I got the email inviting me back in the spring. Nice. Nice. And how you say the spring? Was it this recent spring or are you recently inducted? Oh, sorry. Yes. The spring of 2023 was when I got the invitation. The spring of 2020. Yes. And that's when I was inducted. Nice. So I believe we are perhaps in the same. I think so. Yeah, yeah I think I recognized be. you. Yeah, yes. that's cool. Uh, for anyone that's wondering, if you have a certain GPA, you will eventually get an email for uh, Phi Theta Kappa. And if you do, please join. There are so many great opportunities. Uh, and who knows, you might also be uh, on the couch across from me here and, you know, being interviewed and not only that, but many scholarship opportunities uh, available. And of course, that is usually the main reason that we do these kinds of things. Uh, it's always great to have uh, these sort of financial, academic and any other sort of opportunities. So my next question for you would be, you're here at Wake Tech now, right? Yeah. But where do you foresee yourself afterwards? What are your plans after Wake Tech? Well, my overall dream is to become a nurse, uh, particularly a pediatric nurse is my goal. And so I'm working on my application right now to UNC Chapel Hill. And that's due in the, uh, the 15th of December is when it's due. And we'll see what happens. I'll go from there. And if I'm not accepted, then I'm thinking of getting my CNA in the summer of 24 and then applying for Wake Tech's nursing program. Wow. Wake Tech does have a nursing program. I've only recently found out about it, um, but your main focus would be to do the UNC Chapel Hill one? Yes, I'm hoping for my um, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Nice, but nice. Whoever takes me, I just want to be yeah, a nurse. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's the main goal. It doesn't matter where it comes from as yeah, long as I'm, you get, get yeah. it done, right? And I love Wake Tech, so wherever I end up. Now, what made you want to be a nurse? Where, where does that, you know, do you have a sort of like a nurturing personality? Is there maybe a family member that inspired you? Uh, I'm a little curious about that. Um, a, a bit of everything. I actually, I know a lot of people grow up uh, dreaming of becoming a nurse. I was not that person. I thought that I'd be a teacher for the longest time. As I mentioned, I like working with children. Um, I do have a passion for serving others and helping others, but I've always been drawn towards those science classes. And I started volunteering at a hospital at the UNC Children's Hospital. And I kind of did a little bit more research and I talked to my aunt, she was a nurse. Her career ended short, she has multiple sclerosis, but so, I kind of want to branch off of that and of take course. over. She gave me her stethoscope of course. and I've just grown my passion for it and I want to follow that dream. So she passed the torch to you in a, in a way. In a way, yes, yeah. yeah. That's, that's really cool. That is a really inspiring story. Thank you. And it, there's a lot of these sorts of stories at Wake Tech um, you know, it's not just a, a school where you come to just to, uh, you know, fulfill a certain requirement. There's a lot of backstory here, um, you know, even for me or the person behind the camera. Uh, everybody here at Wake Tech has a story and, you know, we hope you see yourself here as well. Okay, so Catherine, what are some things that, whether it be at Wake Tech, within PTK, or even outside of it, you know, a personal or passion project, what are some things that you are working on right now, or what is just one main thing that you're working on? Um, well, at Wake Tech, I'm a part of the Student Government Association. SGA. I'm the, yes, the SGA. Nice. I'm the secretary, and we have our monthly meetings. We also have the executive board and joint council meetings, and we have little office hours sprinkled in between. 
where we'll help Wake Tech with advertisement promotions or just reaching out to others that want to join. So that's at Wake Tech. Um, at PTK, I did volunteer once in the spring, and that was fun. I'm hoping to do more with that. And then outside of Wake Tech, I mentioned I'm volunteering at a children's hospital at UNC, and I, I love that. We do anything from stocking to cleaning the pantries or spending time with the younger patients, and I just enjoy that time What's a lot. What's that first one, the stocking part? Um, stocking the well, the pantries or okay. the closets with gloves and stocking. pictures. Yes. Stocking. Stocking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Stocking I supplies. I was Sorry. Like, that, I know that has to mean something <laughs> different than what I heard. Uh, okay. So like restocking and all of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it seems you have a lot going on, a lot on your plate, but you seem to be managing well. And did you mention what position you have in the SGI? I'm the student body secretary. Student body secretary? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And what are some responsibilities that that entails usually? Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm in charge of writing the agendas for our monthly general business meetings, our executive board meetings, and so on. And then I go back and I fill in all the the notes and put that in its own document for the minutes and just keep organized with the motions and then my three hours a week office hours where I mentioned I help out the school. Of course. Okay, so I can tell that you are very active academically within your clubs, um, in your personal life, uh, in your goals. Um, But aside from that, right, what is something that truly uh, lights your soul on fire that really, you know, you could skip meals, you could skip (laughs) sleep, something that, you know, maybe you're passionate about a hobby. Um, It could be really anything. Sure. Um, mostly just hanging out with my friends and family. I know my schedule can be a little yes. busy and out of hand sometimes, but if I get the chance to make time to be with my friends and my family, I will go to sleep later. I, yeah, I'd i rather <laughs> enjoy time with them than be too focused in on yeah. school. It's important to have those outside outlets, if you will. Of course. Um, and then other hobbies, I I've played soccer since I was four years old. Soccer? Yes, what I position? love soccer. Midfield. Midfield. Center midfield yeah. I used to be goalie. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, I played through high school. I haven't played in a while, but I'm hoping to get back into it. And I love reading, mostly fiction. And I haven't painted in a while, but I still love painting. Painter as well. Very nice. Not, not a good painter, <laughs> by Honestly, any means. you don't have to be good at painting because it's almost like an outlet for your yes, soul, yeah. for expression. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't matter what ends up on the canvas, uh, as long as the way that you got there, um, you know, you, you dug deep, you know, you were passionate about, or maybe it was something you were thinking about. You know, a lot of people have the misconception that painting has to be, no, I mean, you could just splash things. Yep. You see, there's a lot of people <laughs> that just, you know, they put a, a bucket of paint on a swing and they just swing it around. Oh yeah, Picasso. Different expressions, you know, art, uh, art, unless it's a, a sheet of white paper of modern art, you know, mm-hmm. like that's trying to make a statement, Jackson which, Pollock, which I, I don't really the, believe. Is that the splatter paint guy? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, great. Thank you. So, Catherine, life is all about lessons and reflecting on experience, right? So what is a personal lesson that you've learned here at Wake Tech, in PTK, or even recently while you've been pursuing your academic career mm-hmm. here? Um, it's never too late to change your mind. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's a great one. And I think that's one that no one should be afraid of. I know a lot of times you're on this track of, okay, you're 16 years old, you're in high school. What are you going to do? And stick with it for the rest of your life. But I've met so many amazing people here that have been in their career for a decade or more. And they're like, you know what? I don't feel passionate about this. I want to do something else. And Wake Tech is a perfect place to find what you truly want to do. And in the summer, I was actually speaking with one of the senators of the student government because I changed my mind a few times. I I know what I'm doing now, but it took a bit to get here. And he said, you know, every time you change your mind, you're one step closer to what you're meant to be doing. And I thought that was a beautiful statement. That is. That is. Wow. Yeah. That that makes you think. Yeah. That is thought provoking. Now, some of you may be, uh, you know, recently joined in PTK or Wake Tech, maybe you just recently come out of high school. Uh, if you feel like maybe, you know, what I'm pursuing here, you know, I don't know if I see myself there. It's okay. You know, things you're, you're going to change. Your brain is going to grow. 
by the time you're 25, who knows, you might not even want to do what you're doing anymore. But as long as you keep going forward, you will always find a, a reason to keep going. Um, you will eventually discover what you want to do. I'm in programming now. I used to be in criminal justice all the way in New York. Complete different oh, wow. worlds. <laughs> Complete different worlds. So just trust the process and trust yourself uh, and you'll eventually make it through. Yeah. Great answer, Catherine. We, <laughs> we've, we've spawned the philosophical yes, discussion so here. Get deep. <laughs> Great. I can tell that your experiences here at Wake Tech in your life, your family, your friends have all shaped you to be who you are today. So I'm curious, how has PTK affected your time here at Wake Tech? Yeah. So as I mentioned, I, I'm still fairly new. I joined in the spring, but so far I actually met my best friend through PTK at the induction ceremony we didn't know where we were going. Typical us. Um, it was at the Southern campus and I'm more familiar with North and I was trying to find the room and we were both kind of just on time and we yeah. looked at each other and we were like, PTK? And we were like, yep. And so thankfully I met her, Brianna. She's great. Um, and also volunteering I did one time and mostly the scholarship opportunities that I've learned. I know there was just a meeting for one of those and it's just opened a lot of doors in the financial aspect and just overall resources and more people to support you and learn yeah. from. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we do these things because uh, it looks great on a, on a resume. Um, you know, it, it helps us grow professionally, but come on, those scholarships, like, you know, they, it's a nice little bonus. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you know, a lot of, if, if that's what you're in it for, Hey, more power to you. Um, but of course there's so much more that PTK offers yes. now. Uh, you mentioned that you volunteered for PTK, uh, I think recently you said, or over the summer? It was, let's see, I think it might have been the end of the spring 23 okay. semester. It was brief. They, The previous year's PTK members had done a college project, and I think it had to do with finals week. Mm. And it was little goodie bags that had notes of encouragement and candy and, and pencils and erasers. And I helped the... PTK organization passed them out around the northern campus. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. And it was this before you joined? It was after, I think. A little after? Yeah. Or maybe... I got my timelines. Yeah, I got little. my timeline a little bit stuff too. <laughs> yeah, we've been studying too much. Yeah. Like, days start to blend together. But let's take your physical attributes. Let's take any on-the-surface identifiers. Just for now. Let's crumple them in a little ball. Let's throw them in the corner. <laughs> Right. Let's strip away everything that people might see on the surface. Mm -hmm. What makes you you? A tough question. Yes. <laughs> it's a tough question. <laughs> um, let's see, I, I like to think that I'm a compassionate person and that drives me with what I do and who I am. And I'm honest. I care about honesty a lot with my friends and my family. And I'm a good listener. Um, I'm not going to yell at someone, they can come to me and I'll listen to them. And if they want advice, I'll try helping them. Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. And I like to be that person for people. Of course. Of course. And is there anybody in your life that um, has maybe even benefited from from that, those features of you, uh, whether it be family, your best friend that you recently met? Uh, is that what people notice about you when they get to know you, would you say? I think so. I, I like to talk about my mom a lot. Um, we've been through a lot together and we've kind of just always been that person for each other yeah. and we just build each other up. Awesome. She's kind of like awesome. my best friend as well. Awesome. So I guess before we head off, is there anything that you would like to add? Is there anything that you would like to tell the audience or mm -hmm. anybody in general? Um, I'll, I'll give you the floor. Um, well, I'd like to thank you again for having me. It's been a pleasure. Um, and just for everyone else, join PTK. It's a lot of fun. You'll meet some great people. I've noticed that they have snacks a lot. I had some Pop-Tarts at one of the meetings, and the financial benefit is also great, but there's a lot more to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us today. Um, this was a very uh, productive and great conversation, and I'm glad that we were finally able to uh, meet in this spot to do it. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, a little behind, behind the scenes, <laughs> This came out a little late because everything was going wrong, but we finally <laughs> we fixed it. We yeah, got we it. fixed it, and we got a nice background yeah. and, a, and a great uh, studio here. So 
With that, we are finished with this month's October Spotlight interview. Remember, we do this once a month, so we still have November and December left. If you happen to see an email from uh, Roberto Cipriano or Angelina Yang uh, in your email saying, hey, would you like to fill out this form for the Spotlight interview? I recommend you take it. It's a great opportunity. No pressure at all. We're just here to converse uh, and to exemplify and showcase your uh, excellence, basically. So with that, my name is Roberto Cipriano, Catherine Weaver. This is PTK Spotlight Interview, and we will see you next month. Ciao.